let's talk about events. Now, we're going to take a look at one particular context that we explored before, which is in this experiment of flipping a coin two times. And we're going to define this capital letter A, and generally events are denoted by capital letters. Uh, and we'll use A to be the event that we observe the same side of the coin in both flips. So that's our, our event A. And uh, again, the experiment is we're keeping it simple and it's the same as before, just flipping a coin two times. So we'll have these two outcomes that we're interested in, heads, heads, and tails, tails, rather than tails, heads, or heads, tails. And uh, we'll first look at our sample space. Again, omega is going to be heads, heads, tails, 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 heads, and heads, tails. This is our entire sample space with all the possible outcomes. Now, we look at event A in particular, and that event A is the subset heads, heads, tails, tails, right? So this subset is event A. It's what we're interested in out of the whole sample space. It's the set of outcomes we're interested in within this sample space. Now, we have these different um, things we can do between different events, which includes taking the intersection. So the intersection of some events A and B, um, well, this would contain everything that is in both events A and in event B. Uh, next, we can take the union, and this contains everything in either A or B or both. It doesn't have to be in one or the other exclusively. And we can take a complement of an event, and this would contain everything within the sample space, which is not in that event. Right? So this would be represented as, notationally, as, let's say, omega set difference with A. This, this would be what we're trying to uh, look at in A complement. And also, let's say this event A intersection B, let's look at that for a moment. Let's say this A intersection B was equal to this empty set, right? This is just the empty set. If A intersection B is the empty set, then that means A and B don't share any of any elements in common. So let's say B was the event that uh, we saw no, uh, we did not observe the same side of the coin in both flips. If that was event B, then A and B are obviously disjoint. And in fact, they don't share any elements in common, right? Heads, heads, tails, tails and tails, heads, heads, tails. These are not sharing any common elements. So that's why we say A and B are disjoint because their intersection is the empty set. All right, so that's some uh, notation and uh, lingo. Um, in the next video, we'll talk about set theory in more detail with Venn diagrams and see exactly what we mean by these concepts.